Now you see, if we received complaints, to me that's a good sign. It meant that people were listening. Whilst some people put the radio on and they go, oh, it's a bit of background noise. People were so disgusted, so outraged by what we put on the radio that they actually rang in the radio station to complain about it. Now that to me is exactly the same as someone listening to it and going, that, that's brilliant. I'm going to go thank the producers. Exactly the same. Just the other end of the spectrum. What are you, hey? what are you filming? What are you uh, we're filming the House of Commons bit from A Crack in Time, Animal Equality. And... Um... <laughs> no, I like that. That was good. <laughs> We're filming House of Commons, but basically, long story short, if you're watching this, you've listened to it, I'd hope. So it's a goose in the House of Commons. Covering your belly. Covering your belly. Shall we go? Yeah, go for it. Sean, just be aware you are in this. Mr. Tory Man MP! Mr. Speaker! I'd like to raise the issue of complete animal equality in Anglesey. You see, since 1989, the Isles infrastructure is in tatters. A, a complete drag on the Welsh economy. When will the right honourable gentleman for Anglesey admit that this interspecies social experiment has been a complete failure? It was painstaking. Oh, pardon me. Very gruelling. Uh, we were long hours in a hot, sweaty booth. I tried to strip them down to me underpants in the booth, but the others weren't particularly keen on that. So, we put, Finn put the kibosh on that. Brian the Goose MP! And that's the end of the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Fucking hell. Oh, no. Oh, Ben. Oh, Ben. Like, there was no need for you to creep towards the microphone like that. Was that... He's so, he actually has the neck of a goose when he does it. <laughs> there are some belts a bits in there. You know, IGN would give it a solid 5.5 .5 out of 10. Um, the sun would probably give it four stars because the sun... They like shit, don't they? Should we just should we just release six episodes of this scene? <laughs> <laughs> Brian the Goose is getting a spin. <laughs> <laughs> Brian the Goose. It's just about the House it's of Commons with Brian the Goose. Do <laughs> Brian the Goose like MP? Are you okay? Do you need to talk about your veins. feelings? I can feel the veins in my forehead from like trying to. I really. The oh, I really hope it picked up like the slight. Crinkle of the chair. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, you think that's the goose's suit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Culture My Arts is, is not meant to antagonise anyone, but if you were upset by it, then I think that's a positive. I think it's a positive if you're upset by Culture My Arts, because it meant that you were, you were listening. You were using your ear receptacles to listen to Culture My Arts, and you went, you know what, that's revolting. I'm going to be sick. This is awful. This is the weirdest and crappiest radio show I've ever heard in my entire life. But it, at, at least you heard it. So you heard that fact, which is like you're supposed to put conkers in a room to get rid of spiders. <laughs> I'm the conker. You're the conker. I'll have you know that best a great conker. <laughs> Thanks. That means the world. Let's get on, you fuckers. Something happened, and you can acknowledge that. I challenge anyone to say they've listened to Culture My Arts and they didn't hear it. Because I reckon everyone heard it who listened to it. In Tottenham, John and Joan Johnson are watching telly. Who'd have thought it? And they have some riveting insights whilst watching Question Time. Ooh! Our Prime Minister is struggling for this running the country malarkey. Must be harder than it looks. I hate that Prime Minister! Yep. He's rubbish! But he don't even have gravy on the roast! Just, just has it tried, doesn't he? 
I, I bet he's never had to de-ice his windscreen. I bet he's never forgot to bring his bear for life to the shop, so he has to buy another one. He's not got a clue, he's a, he's a pillock. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cracking. That's all my... Uh, he's no lemon squeezer. Uh, my football coach is he's not a sound pillock. lemon squeezer. A pillock? Yeah, he'll be like... He's See, I'd like to say that culture of my arts, when we're, we're kind of having a pop at people, I'd like to say we're always punching up. But, you know, it's not really funny unless you have a few cheeky kicks down as well. Are you bonsoir in? Yeah, go and get a few Nelsons okay, down me. Yeah, going down the fucking boozer. Get a few Nelsons down me, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> down the gullet. You fucking kids, you lads, you fight. So, are we, are we being horrible to the right people? Not always, but that's part of the fun, isn't it? Who, who are we going to go for next? You know, you know, a celebrity millionaire or, or, or your nan? In Bracknell, surprise, surprise, Paul and Julie are watching telly. Because on BBBC4, it's the Chelsea Flower Show. Fancy that. So glad we're watching gardens on telly instead of going out in ours, Julie. Oh, me too, Paul. I just love the Chelsea Flower Show. Look at that fella's shrubbery that's been shaped into a pyramid. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, what a talented man. I should come and get him to do my bush. All could do with a trim and a little bit of pest control. See you mine, Julie. Oh, not like that, you cheeky bugger. <laughs> it is a big cast and crew, and I, I've got one phrase for what it's like to work with 17 people on a podcast. COVID compliant. How are you going to uh, tackle that logistics? It'll be fine, it'll be fine. If anyone, if any government officials are watching this, I don't know why it would be. Um, it's rubbish, but I mean, if, if, if you are watching, and you're thinking, oh, this is not in all, what's going on here. This is, doesn't look like it's in, in line with the guidelines. It's going to be fine. We're going to do a hand, hand sanitizer. Yeah. Got a big bottle of Dove in there. We're going to do temperature taking. We're going to take people's temperatures. Yeah. Have you got a thermometer going? No, I'll just pop my finger in the mouth and have a taste. No, I just say, you know, well, you taste a bit hot. Give it five. If you're not coughing, come back. Come back in. Welcome. Yeah, there, there are certain people that I'm not allowed to be within a certain radius of. So that was my reasoning for not being in the recording week. If you had to summarise why you couldn't be present in legal terms. <sighs> Harassment. Uh, I've been harassed a lot by some of the cast members. They used to turn up to my house. In fact, one of them, I'm not naming names, but she basically kept turning up at my house every day for the past three years of my undergrad. And I didn't know what to do. We did call the police many times and my housemates and I were scared. In the end, we had to lock her up in the attic of our house. And that was where she resided because that was the only way to uh, to get through it all. <laughs> this is years of we got a restraining order against her, so she has to reside in Crawley now, which is quite nice. Belly. Belly. Forgot me, Funter. Oh, I've got an email on my computer. And do you know why we call it Funter, Finian? Because it's fun to drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going well. Has there been any standouts so far? Uh, it's, it's hard once Ben Cookson's entered your life to get rid of him from your head at any point. I can't think of anything but Ben Cookson right now. I know I've seen other people. Evening. Evening. Come on in. You're right. See, I know I know who you are, but all I can think of is Ben Cookson. <laughs> everyone, you. everyone. My told Jim just goes to it. Well, it doesn't... It's like you, but with Ben Cookson's head. Everyone. <gasps> Connor's got Ben, ben Cookson's head. Boobs. So it's like yeah. being John Markovich, but for Ben Cookson. <laughs> yeah, basically. Being Ben Cookson. Cookson. God, you dread the thought. <laughs> so yeah, that's been my standout. So, I mean, you but it's not because, Cookson. it's not voluntarily my standout. It's because I can't see anything else. I just see Ben Cookson. It's 
It's quite harrowing, really. Shocked, disgusting, appalled. Those are the words <laughs> on the streets in reaction to the recent Gogglebox controversy. <laughs> Obviously, without the northern inflections there. <laughs> Where are we going? We can have a few goes at the voice before we settle on it, yeah? Report. Those are the words on the street in reaction to the, to the recent Gogglebox controversy. controversy. Yeah, I reckon that's how The inexplicable... Pl- pl- I did this last night. Popular. Popular. The popular. <laughs> the popular go- Gogglebox has been cancelled. I also played Poppy Cox. Uh, she's like a newsreader. Um, and I think her first news story is she's breaking that. All the Gogglebox characters at MI6 agent, and I wholly believe that. I think it's a conspiracy. Great idea. Great idea. I think it's like when news, like news bits are always written with like pointless fucking like alliteration, aren't they? Like <laughs> characters. Imagine having to read that off a teleprompter. Yeah. I'd be fucked. <laughs> yeah. Like, I know. I know Finn off. wrote it, yeah, but I think he's got a point. <laughs> I really do. Controversy. Controversy. Is that viral? Hold on. The thing is, I'm going to write on it and I'm not going to, like, look at it. (laughs) I think he's, like, one of the lizards. Like the queen. (laughs) Fucking patrons, you did this. The queen is the lizard queen, obviously. Like, she's the queen, yeah. Oh, he might work, actually. Look at his little... It's that entertainment. Do you like watching that? <laughs> oh, it's a Harry Potter pen. They have things that I have at home. Sure. But I think Finn is like the lizard prince of Gwynedd. Like Owen Glendor, but a lizard. Disgusted. Appalled. Those are the words on the street in reaction to the recent Gogglebox controversy. The inexplicably, inexplicably oral mucosa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be there. MI6 have now cancelled Operation Gogglebox and the agents involved have been relocated. However, the British public will still have one question. What will we watch now? Answer, actual TV. Sick. Sick as fuck. <laughs> So I'll get um, I'll get Byron to do his Guy Four bits, and then I'll just get you back yeah. for that. But we need to do the, we need to do Wendy Rue and Madam Moonshine anyway. Yeah. And I need Byron's lines for that as well. Yeah. Just so we can Go work around him. I'm really tired. We keep going bad really late. Because we keep watching that Patrick Stewart video. It's, not, it's like three minutes long. Like no. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but we just keep laughing about it for about an hour and a half. Like, at midnight, we were just like, well, we better watch it before bed. <laughs> <laughs> and then... And then we just, like, literally for the next hour and a half, we're just wandering around going, oh, cover your belly. Yeah, Dion Davies, actually, um, he held me at gunpoint to get the part, so I, I was fast asleep. Heard a bump in the night. Next thing you know, gun against my head. And he goes, in my ear, I've got your dog. I won't be afraid to do it. I said, don't do that. It's a basset hound. It'll be a right mess. So he recognised my voice, obviously. And he said, are you Frank Sod from Culture My Arts? He goes, yeah, I am. He goes, I was passing through Stoke-on-Trent when they went out on the A34. And I thought it was bloody brilliant. I goes, you be the first. He laughed. And he said, well, I'll tell you what. I'll let this all go if you give me a part. I said, consider it done. After that, took Reggie out for a walk and he calmed right down. We'll probably uh, just go for a few takes. And as we go, I'll just say, oh, I can have that line a bit like this. Can I have that line? As long as you're good with that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fucking hell, when Ben gets him, we're going to have a laugh with it anyway, because he's just like, here he is. I'm ready for my close-up. <laughs> here he is, he's stinky bomb. I am excited to do this. It's all about it's the so process. Yeah. It's all about the process, baby gay. I'm going to have a smashing time, because I'm with bloody lovely company. Fuck off. See that. 
Is this for the Patreon? This is for the Patreon. This is him saying that he thinks he's we're really good. He knows us so little. Are we allowed to swear on the Patreon? Um, well, they yeah. Paid top dollar. Oh, thanks for that. I think so. If they're paying for it, they should get explicit content, yeah. shouldn't they, really? In 1989, when they gave animals equal rights on Anglesey, a lot of the cows weren't happy being milked and slaughtered, so a lot of them left. By 2000, I was going broke, so I had no other option but to sell the land to a rich investor who happened to also be a cow. She then turned this place into a human factory farm, at which now I'm livestock. What are you doing? Oh! Oh! oh. I, 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 I'm a journalist! A journalist! Journalist! Cool. So... I still think I didn't give him enough emotion, I think. I, yeah, I, I'm ag- I agree. We can, we can wrap that right off. Yeah. Because I think the thing about J- John, like, you're, you're so silly. That that you need it needs to be talking to someone who's <coughs> like quite genuinely spinning a sad story here. No, it, no. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, this is all this is all part of it, and we've we've got it. We've got to get to the point we want to get to. He he tries to be a gentle soul when the cameras are on or when he's in public. And some people have compared him to I don't know Mother Teresa or. Jesus Christ himself. One person even compared him to Richard Branson. But when the cameras are off and behind so closed funny. doors, he's a bit more of a Donald himself. Trump or a Kim Jong Un or Megan Fox, you know? To be on everything, because that's brilliant. That's yeah. super funny. Okay, it's really, really funny. Yeah. So what you're doing on that milking line, it needs to be on everything. Don't get me started on my breasts, though. They're very tender. I mean... I milked dry. I used to think that when we milked the cows, they were moving out of pleasure. But it turns out it comes quite keen. I do keep trying to tell the cows I miss my family, but they don't really seem to be on the same wavelength. No! Stop! Stop! Oh! I've been John Goff. This has been my crack. In time. I'll speak to you when I've got myself out of this pickle. Ooh, I'm sure when the cows find out I'm a journalist, they'll release me from ooh, the farm. Oh, gosh, Bryn, I seem to have landed right in some mud. That's not mud, John. Dee, that is so much better. That's really nice. Yeah? When I imagine this in my head, I'm imagining, like, a man on all fours... <laughs> In like a factory farm. Does he like have my this. face though? Of course he has your face. <laughs> Good. But he, my but imaginations he, have your face. <laughs> <laughs> he has your face but others. Oh, that's fucking sexy. I mean, I'm just you know, that's a postcard in the <laughs> Hey Con. Oh. Hi, patrons. If you're watching this, this is only for patrons. Well done. You've joined an exclusive club. Do you feel special? Oops. Do you feel really good about yourself? Yeah. Well, I give five pounds to an independent. Fuck. Do you feel good? Yeah. Is that good? Is it like giving money to Samaritans? Yeah. Is that what it's like? Well, I'm helping out local. No, you're not. Doesn't even pay the petrol. Patron. Shut up. Is that what you're giving us? Oh, I can get a meal deal with that. Oh, can I have a sandwich? Oh, I can't. Look, I can't even. Oh, can I get a sandwich? I can't even buy a uh, three-ply toilet roll with that. Yeah? My fingers are going to go right through the toilet roll. Yeah? Two-ply. Shitty fingers. That's what you're giving me. <laughs> Shitty fingers. Oh, can I be a patron? I'll have a shirt for five pounds a month. That's fucking nothing. Well, Where? Cost of, cover the cost of the shirt. Do you, wanna, do you want us to die? Do you want to... Look at him. He's going to die. He's going to die if you don't give us your money. Look at him again. He's dying, man. He's fucking dying. Look at him. How are we going to wipe his shitty ass with that? Guy needs a multi-pack.
Ben, do you, think, do you reckon there'll be a season two of Clutch in My Heart? Well, depends on how long it's going to take Finn to grow the cocaine. This is being recorded, isn't it? No, I do not live in fear of Finny and Shardlow in any way, shape, or form. Oh, come on, Ben. No, you Help! Help! Stop filming! Help!